There were a lot of Democrats who wanted to vote against Donald Trump, um, and they were able to do that by either being registered independent in the past or changing the registration back in October. Also what Haley was focused on, those undeclared voters, the independents, nearly 350,000 voters that weren't Republican or Democrat but could choose to vote Republican. A lot of independents uh, in New Hampshire. That's where a lot of uh, Governor Haley's votes uh, actually came from. Uh, if you were registered undeclared or Republican, Nikki Haley cleaned up there. She won by 30 points. That's a lot of independents. 70 percent of Nikki Haley's votes last night were from unaffiliated voters, many of whom were former Democrats who switched their party affiliation to vote for her. Undeclared voter who has a more liberal leading ideology and who seems to be voting for Nikki Haley almost strategically. I voted for Nikki Haley, and it was certainly a strategic vote. A vote for Nikki Haley is helps diminish Trump's influence in the RNC and their nomination. She did well with non-Republicans. Trump beat her by 49% among Republicans. Donald Trump certainly crushed among registered Republicans. He beat Nikki Haley by 50 points. For Nikki Haley, that's a reminder, it's awfully hard to re- win a Republican nominating contest if you're losing Republicans by 50 points. 